Okay, welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. We're here to talk about Heal the Community of Liberty Hill. My guest today, the Reverend Dr. Nelson B. Rivers III, pastor of Charity Missionary Baptist Church, and the Reverend Dr. Robert E. Kennedy of St. Peter's Amy Church, and they're both on Liberty Hill. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. I appreciate you. Now we're here to talk about healing the community of Liberty Hill. What is that all about? Well, Liberty Hill has had uh, a lot of violence um, over the last couple of years. A lot of our young people as they walk to the community told us that they don't really know each other in other communities. Uh, we were trying to assess what we could do as a community to, mm -hmm. to heal the divide. We had a, uh, one of our deacons who passed, his son was shot. Uh, not long after that, we had a young man across the street connected to one of our members, uh, his grandson were shot both on Liberty Hill and then we have other instances, instances around our community. So the churches have gotten together. We are having an initial event this, sun, this Saturday, July 22nd okay. at Felix Pinckney, the recreation center everybody knows right there in, in Liberty Hill at four o'clock. And then we we're gonna do the street patrol. Basically years ago, the churches in Liberty Hill did something called CPAD, Citizen Patrol Against Drugs, Citizen Patrol Against Drugs. and. It won't be the same thing, but it'll be us going into the community, uh, talking to folk, not just the young people, but all people, find out what we can do um, so the walls of the church will open and we'll go out into the community. And Reverend Kennedy at St. Peter's has been uh, kind enough to get involved completely along with Royal under the leadership of Pastor Holt, uh, Abyssinia Baptist Church, mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Bernard, and then of course Little Bethel also with the Apostle, they're all involved. Those are the five churches on Liberty Hill and all five of us. Uh, with this program. Okay, Liberty Hill founded in 1871. So right. Reverend Kennedy, what has been your experience with some of the violence in that area? Well, I've had the uh, opportunity to serve families following violence, meaning the shooting of young individuals uh, on Liberty Hill, the death of young men, mm -hmm. and talking about the ages uh, 19, 20, 21, uh, when you serve those families, you begin to see the pain mm -hmm. and you begin to also see the potential that's lost uh, mm -hmm. due to gun violence, due to gang violence, due to individuals just not knowing one another. It's a very heart-wrenching thing. For example, the last funeral, mm -hmm. uh, I had the opportunity to officiate over it and just standing there looking at a life gone at the age of 21, a young man, life gone. And it makes you think about what could have been. And this is a young man that left behind a young child. That's right. In fact, uh, a young son was, was shot at the same time he was killed. Mm. Uh, at about 11 o'clock at night, uh, myself and some other folk from St. Peter's uh, we were coming back in the neighborhood. Uh, they had a crime scene tape uh, out there, mm -hmm. and uh, we just had to sit and wait and talk to folk, and it was a very, very distressing time. So when we come to this event, what are you expecting us to walk away with? We, we expect everyone to walk away with uh, the message that, that, that one death is too much. Mm -hmm. Uh, we expect folk to walk away with the message, get to know one another. We expect folk to walk away with the message, hey, you don't have to resort to violence, mm -hmm. uh, that we are all one big family. And, um, you know. We, we got the, in addition to that, that's exactly what we want. But also our young people told us they really don't know each other from other communities, mm -hmm. even in Liberty Hill, yeah. which sounds strange, but it's real. Um, the death that Pastor Kennedy was talking about, that happened around 9.45, mm -hmm. we were still in the church, mm -hmm. doing, um, preparing for a service and in the media booth, and we heard it, and then right after it happened, the folk went in the street and identified who it was and said it was a um, young brother yeah. who lived on the street. So when, they, when we have this, first of all, it would be fun, Mm -hmm. I noticed that on your flyer. Mm -hmm. We want people to be invited to come. There won't be any preaching to talking to folk about 
how to fix up your life and all of that. First, they have to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. But they told us they want community, that mm -hmm. they want fellowship. Yeah. We believe in that. The churches of Liberty Hill have been there a long time. Liberty Hill is the oldest community in North Charleston, not the oldest black community. It's the oldest community in North Charleston. Wow. Bought by freed slaves in 1864. They sold four black families in that community. All the descendants of those four black families are still on Liberty Hill. In fact, in our churches, we have members of the legislature in, on Liberty Hill. We got a county council member, a two city council people on, three city council sure. members on Liberty Hill. Sure. There's no reason for it to continue like this. And talking about it's not enough. It's onus is on us. We ought to own what we can do. We can't it's do It's time to take action. But sure. it's time for the church and the church as, and our members. Mm -hmm. This is not something that pastors can do. We're not Bengali. We can't snap our fingers and folk do stuff. But it's important that they see us, feel us, hear us, understand it. And the young people have asked, they really have said to us, come out with us. Don't just tell us come show us and so we're glad that uh, Reverend Holt could not be here today he was traveling but I want you to know that Royal is on board, Little Bethel is on board, Abyssinia is on board, St. Peter of course is on board, we're right down the street from each other, okay. all the churches are on walking distance of each other and so we want to send the message that when our community is under stress the church should respond outside the walls of the church and that's what we're doing. Your flyer says it is time for the community to come together and unite as one. Please come out and join us in Liberty Hill for a fun day, Saturday, July 22nd, 2017, 4 p.m. But now there is a rain date. If it rains, it's July 29th at 4 p.m. at the Felix Pinkney Community Center, 4764 Hazel Avenue, North Charleston, 29405. Look at this, activities, jump castle, horseshoes, basketball, all of that for you, Dr. Nelson, Dr. Kennedy, they're inviting you to come and be a part of this event in the place called Liberty Hill. You need to come. Gentlemen, thank you for being here today on Bounce Around Charleston. Thank, thank you for having us. Okay, there's a whole lot coming up right here on Bounce Around Charleston. Stay tuned.